guys, Elisa here. So today, um, my mom and I will be showing you guys how we make steam bun. Or in Khmer, num bao. So yeah, I'll show you. Trust me not. So what you want to do is get like, um, these flowers. Which, I would recommend this type of flower. The one that, uh, you don't even know how to pronounce. This one. Just like, look for this image. Um, this, is, this has a better taste to it than this one. But yeah, you want to follow the instructions on the back, and thank goodness there's English on this side for this one. Yeah. It's like, it's, instead of being on the side like that one, it's like right here in this tiny corner. Which, yeah. Then for one bag, you say? Yeah. For one bag of these, you use half a cup of sugar. But since we are using two bags, we're using one cup of sugar, and that's the flour. Just like follow instructions on the back of them, and you should be good. Then, currently, what my mom was doing was cutting up some hard-boiled eggs. What is this? Sausage. Chinese sausage, right? Chinese sausage. Chinese sausage, because that will be going on the inside of our nam bao. Then, um, what's also going on the inside? Pork, shrimp, shrimp green onion, green onion, onion. onion. This will be okay. Mixed together, but yeah, not these four will be mixed together. And then and put some little bit salt and some salt. Salt and some uh, uh, sugar. Salt, sugar. Mm, and then put a uh, uh, chicken stock. And inside. chicken stock. I don't know. Um, this is what my mom said you need to add to this mixture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then just have your um, ingredients pre-mixed, I mean, I mean pre-cut, so it's ready for it later. Um, you, would you suggest a KitchenAid or could you just do it by hand? You can do it by hand. There you go. Oh, yeah, try not to let that happen. <laughs> Wait. Uh... If we don't have milk, could you use water? The water is fine, but then you need to make flavor. And as mm -hmm. better, you milk. So for those who are wondering, milk adds flavor. But and every one pack, it put one cup of milk. So that means you have to add two packs if you're doing... Two cups of water if you're doing two packs of those. Mm -hmm. You want to leave aside some flour, mm -hmm. so because you're going to need to roll it out. And, and it's and like... Go, go get some mommy, uh, of, uh, oil. Spoon. What is the oil for? To make them combine. Spoon. Here's a spoon. Every one pack of one teaspoon. Or just a spoon. Yeah. Or just use like a spoon. So you're gonna want to mix it together first, so there is no um, flour flying anywhere. Then you can start mixing it. And my mom's simultaneously watching TV. <laughs> Lock it Put in. Alright. Ten minutes. Don't forget, um, try to stir the sides. Somewhat well combined, um, or really well combined. Uh, turn it up the speed. Yeah. Then once it's well combined, kinda... Do that. Take out the dough from that. Add a bit more oil. In my mom's case, a handful. By adding the oil, it won't stick. And cause that giant pile up of dough. Hopefully. Don't forget to lock it like my mom did. <laughs> yep, don't forget to lock. While that's going, you can start making the. Was it pork you say? Yeah, pork, pork shrimp, shrimp um, green onion, yeah. an onion mixture. So add like a handful of sugar. Of sugar. The chicken broth powder? Roughly a handful. Wait, how much pork did you put in, Mom? 
What's that? Right? Yeah. About two pounds. Mm. Some pepper. How much green onion would you say you have? Okay. A bunch, like one bunch. Onion? How much onion? So, you can vary the recipe, is basically what I'm saying. Add it, um, salt and pepper. And monosodium, which is has a different kind of texture to salt. It is like a bit, uh, let's see. No, it's a bit larger than normal salt. Um, you find it. So you just want to mix it in. Well, that's not good. Mix it until it's nicely combined into each other. The microwave will go away for So, microwave it for... How long would you say? A minute? Yeah. Not a minute. minute. Well, whatever, until the meat is done. Until the meat is done, so just like keep your eye on it. Minute. For us, we got... um. We put in a minute, but you know, microwave is very. So you want to microwave it so you can taste test to see if it needs any more salt, sugar, pepper, anything else? Yeah, just salt, sugar, or pepper. The meat, it was a bit salty, so when it's salty, you just add a bit of sugar to it. Mm. Then what if it was too sweet? Too sweet? Add a pinch of salt. Add a pinch of salt. Mm. If it needs, tastes like you want, um, it needs more pepper, then add more pepper. Mm -hmm. So it varies on what you want. Mm -hmm. While you're waiting for the dough to finish the mixing, you want to like cut out some parchment paper or wax paper by um, how big you want the nombao to be. So our nombao is going to be big, so we are cut a piece of wax paper roughly uh, two by two. And it just determines on how big you want it to be. And since the dough is finished, mom, huh? mm. okay. want to explain to them? Oh, we need to take the dough out. Yeah, so take the dough out. Oh, I think you start to like chop the thing. <laughs> Before anything, make sure the machine's clean. Not chop the thing. Thank you. JK. JK. Uh, it's going to be pretty sticky. It's, it's really sticky. Okay. So once you get the dough out, just add a little bit of oil so your hand doesn't not stick to your hand and not stick to and your to not stick on the, your container you put it in. Mm -hmm. Then you wanna knead the dough. For how will you know it's done, Mom? Uh, we only do like a, a couple of minutes and then we cover for thirty minutes. Yeah. After we knead this one. And what else? If you don't want to knead it, you can punch it. Get yeah. all that anger out. Yeah. Whatever you do. Yeah. Just as long as it being fresh. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. Then cover it and with the pepper towel or whatever you don't have. The, just take a uh, the to cool. a towel, yeah, the towel, a clean towel, and just like cover this and let it rest for 30 okay. minutes, mm -hmm. and it will rise. Okay, now so done. you can like cut more up of these parchment wax paper for it, and you can clean up. Yep. Your mess. Your mess. Because that's the one thing everybody hates to do. But it's better to get over it. Right, Mom? Yeah, you want to eat, you need to clean now. Okay. Okay, so once you let it sit, have um, a... Use that extra flour and you, either on the table or a cutting board, um, put some flour on and put the dough on there. You're going to roll it out and cut it into chunks. Okay. After you use some kneading. Split it in half. Since it is too big, is what my mom says. I think every one pack you're supposed to get 12. One. So this should make 12, and that should be able to make 12. Do not mind the background noise. That is Return of Superman. A great um, Korean TV show, I say. Because that is way off topic. Oh well. 
So, here's our first chunk. So since it's small, just combine. So you want to roll these into balls. Mm -hmm. So, like, oh, I think another five minutes, uh, probably a ten minutes. Wait, wait a minute. <sighs> okay, just like, you know, follow the instructions of your wrapper and then packaging. Yeah, no, 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 like, like, like. Flatten. Yeah, and just start putting the the filling. Mm -hmm. And just so you're wondering, that is cut into fourths. That the Chinese sausage is cut at an angle. And from the, the um, meat filling we had earlier done, my mom just rolled them up. Mm -hmm. So it's equally divided. So before you start anything of the filling, you want to have a large pot filled with water since you are going to be steaming yeah, the bread, bun. And you want the bun turn to white, you need to put one teaspoon of vinegar. So one teaspoon of vinegar into the water, it will cause the to make dough white. Dough to be white, kind of like the packaging shows, but if not, it'll be like yeah. oh, a yellowish know, tint yeah. to it. But yeah, it doesn't. The vinegar doesn't add any flavor, right? No, yeah. just go to the water. Not it's that just dark. the um, water. I'm still rolling this out with my hand. Be careful, don't drop any. So yeah, just roll out your um, dough into uh, like a fourth of an inch or a centimeter thin. But not too thin where it will, like, um, some of the fillings will create holes, but just thin enough. You can get, like, enough space for the, um, dough to cover one of that, one of that, and one of that inside. So, meat, put it in the center. Okay, an egg. At least you put it one, but need, like, more meat, you put two. So, you can always change, um, how much you want in there. Like my mom said, uh, we put two because we like the meat. Then you want to bring the dough up and pinch it at the top. Like my mom is doing. This creates that, um, dough. Then, wait, then once you have it all gathered up, you're going to twist the top. Wait, pinch and mm -hmm, twist mm -hmm. the top. And if there's any hole, just like pinch them lightly and just fix it. It and put one piece of paper. Then the paper that you cut out earlier, take that and just put it right there. You want like, these pots that have holes in them because so you have the seam go through. And you start arranging them. You don't want them too close to each other because they will rise mm -hmm. and stick together. So yeah. Uh, so once the water starts boiling, you want to take your filled um, pot steamer mm -hmm. and put it in on top of this. Then, is that one filled yet? Yeah, one, one more. One more. This one not look good, but whatever. We eat our own cell. Who cares? <laughs> okay. And cover it. Then cook it. Steam it for 15 minutes. And you come back what it look like. We'll show you what it looks like. Yeah. And since mm -hmm. there's still more, my mom's gonna make some more. Yeah. Okay. Do we have done? After you finish the time the package said to steam it, take the lid off, but keep it um, still on here and the water's still heating for about um, five more minutes. Hold up. That, there we go. Oh, the finished product. So, place it on. Place those on a cooling rack so the bottom does not get soggy. Uh, 